Hey YouTube, this is Denver Coder. This is going to be the first of a series of videos I want to do called Quick Tips. Uh, these are going to be shorter, 5 to 10 minute videos, just basically describing tips, tricks, workflows, um, different pieces of software I use to make my life easier. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about a little program called Alfred. Um, <clears throat> Alfred, 3, Alfred 3 was just released, um, I think, two weeks ago. Um, so Alfred is free. There's a free version, um, and then there's this Power Pack. Um, the Power Pack has a few additional features. It has this um, remote feature, um, which basically you can hook uh, your iPhone or your iPad up to your Mac and just do different. There's different things you can do, like you can, you know, you can see right here, you know, shut down, restart, lock. Um, you can check your preferences, set different preferences. Um, you can show Alfred. Um, and then the workflows, um, there's a workflows for different um, other software um, programs um, and services. Um, and these workflows, I think you get a basic workflow with the free version and the, the more in-depth workflow um, is with the uh, paid version and I mean there's some pretty crazy workflows you can get into with this I mean this one right here this is simple I've seen some that are just crazy so this basically says um, <clears throat> you type a to-do keyword um, the utility moves your task to a query through a list filter um, you know so you can just do these different, set up these different workflows and you can trigger different events to happen and it'll go through and, you know, if you type this, it'll do that. If you click this, it'll do that. And it's pretty neat. It's a neat feature. Um, I don't use it very much just because I find I spend more time setting up the workflow than I do actually using it. But, I mean, if you're a person whose workflows are crazy all over the place, that might benefit you. Um, so... Without further ado, so this is Alfred, this little bowler hat, top hat thing, I don't know what it's called, but um, basically Alfred just sits here in the menu, um, menu bar, and you, when you first install it, you'll choose a hotkey that you use to activate it. Um, I just picked double tap shift, so if I double tap shift, it opens this little box. It's kind of like the spotlight feature. It allows you to, I mean, you can search your computer. Um, you can do various, I mean, there's pretty much nothing you can't do with Alfred. And the cool thing is that, um, especially if you're a software developer or if you're a blogger or um, an editor, anything where you're keyboard heavy, you don't want to take your hands off the keyboard as much as possible. You want to you know, have both your hands on the keyboard. I know people that have actually written entire books in Vim for that reason. Um, but basically, you can be typing away, you double tap shift, and this box opens. Now, what can you do with this? Um, like I said, there's a lot you can do. Um, you can Google stuff. So you type in Google and then a space, and then you can search for happy kittens, and it'll open up a browser window and it'll actually do the search for you. Um, and then, you know, normally people would grab their mouse and they'd reach over here and they would close this. You can actually just double tap Alfred again and then type quit Google Chrome. So Google Chrome was one of the only things running. So like you can see right now, the only thing I have running is my screen capture software. I do use OBS, by the way. Um, there's a lot of other cool features. Um, one thing is I do a lot of command line work and you do a uh, uh, let's see um, of course So people that use a command line know that it, it'll actually store the last few commands. And you can see it actually goes back to my last session quite 
a few days ago. Um, but the cool thing with Alfred is it'll actually save your clipboard. So if I copy this, then I copy that. You know, normally like on most computers, you can only have one thing in the clipboard at a time unless you have a program or something. So I've just copied those three things. So I can open this, I can type in clip, and I just had to type two letters. Um, hmm. That actually happened to me earlier. It's not displaying them. I wonder if this is some kind of a, of a bug. Um, like I said, this was just released not too long ago. And maybe I needed to turn it on. There's a lot of settings. A lot, a lot, a lot of settings in here. Um, like you can just see this is just crazy. But, um, so snippets, show snippets, uh, clipboard, keep playing text. So I just didn't have these selected. So you keep playing text for seven days, keep images for 24 hours, keep file list for 24 hours. Okay, and then, okay, now it should work. So, And any of you that have watched my channel in the past know that I like to keep a lot of my mistakes in my videos. A, because I am not great at editing, so having to redo this video or, you know, cut things out and then paste it back together, I just don't want to do that. And also, I mean, I, I don't care if I make mistakes. Everybody makes them and, you know, it helps people learn. So, there we go. So you see those three things that I just copied to the clipboard, they get stored in here. And it'll store like literally everything you copy for seven days. Um, so, I mean, you know, you could come in here a week from now and these three will st still be here. Um, so that's another cool feature that I use. Um, I almost shut down my editing software again. So, let's see what else can you do. Um, I showed you that you can open stuff. Oh, you can open files. So, I mean, if um, I just created a I created a test 3 in my home. So, I have this test 3 here. I can got test text in there so I can just go open file test text Let's go window open ah test dot text and that opens. So if you know the name of a file, you can pretty much like see if I go to uh, let's see music, iTunes, iTunes Media, podcasts, and blog millionaire blog. Turn posts into visual masterpieces. So I can actually just go. There it is. So if you know the name of it, that'll save you a bunch of time because you could just literally type a few words and there it is. I mean, it would. It took me longer to go and click through this folder structure to find it. Um, so some of the other features, um, so like I said, here's the workflows. I don't use these much, but you basically get, you know, you just build these pieces and you put them out here. Um, you can change the appearance. There's 
Alfred Dark, Alfred Classic, Alfred OSX Dark. That's the one I like. Frosty Teal. Um, and I, I think you can even upload um, your own or create your own. And then we've got Clear applica Application Cache. Um, fuzzy Capital Letters. So Fuzzy Capital Letters, I don't know if, if you're a developer, you probably know what that means. But basically you just type the capital letter for each word. And so ba basically every capital letter in, in a title, you could just type in the capital letters and it would find them for you. Um, but yeah, it's a really neat piece of software. Like I said, there's this remote feature where you can actually connect an iPad or an iPhone to it. Um, and yeah, it's like uh, I just installed this the other day, the new version, so I don't have much usage but I actually kind of use this heavily just because it's so much faster than you know typing things in or searching around through the file system or you know like if if I want to open something I don't have on my dock I have to go in here to launch pad and I've got a billion things installed I have to go find what I'm looking for you know it's easier like VLC if I didn't have that in my dock I could just VL, VL, hit that and open it. And um, yeah, so this video is actually a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but um, this is the first one, so I was just trying to gauge how long it takes to do a 10 minute video. Surprisingly, it takes a little longer than 10 minutes to do a 10 minute video. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would help me out a lot. Have a great day.